Turkey has been dealing with a very, very rapid urbanization curve in the last quarter of the 20th century and into the 21st century. Now over 70% of the Turkish population lives in cities. So you have one of the world's great mega cities, Istanbul. The official population count is now over 10 million. I think the unofficial population is probably closer to 13, 14, even 15 million. You also have a large contingent of people who are continually coming into the cities, which puts pressure on employment. You have a large number of people who are unemployed or underemployed. It means that there's the development of a very large informal economy, which has consequences. Not only are wages very low, but of course taxation is very low among these groups, so it's bad in several ways in terms of population. At the same time, it means that people from different walks of life in Turkey are thrown into the same spaces. And that can be great if it means that people are learning more about the other. I think that, for example, many urban uh, Turks of Turkish ethnicity um, came to know a lot of people who were Kurdish, for example, because of this rapid urbanization. And that was a great thing. But at the same time, it's also difficult because it means that you have populations that are quite wealthy and populations that are quite poor living side by side. So many of the immigrants who come into the city can't find anywhere um, that's reasonably priced to live. So you had the phenomenon in Turkey of the gece kondus, which is a Turkish word that means put up in one night. And it's basically slum housing that's thrown up out of any materials that are to hand so that people have somewhere to live. And these slum communities had no running water, no sewer systems, no electricity. And so you had people who had very, very terrible living conditions, living right next to people who were extremely wealthy and had all the modern conveniences. You can imagine Imagine the social tension that happens when you have haves and have-nots living in close proximity all the time. So it's really added to a lot of the tension politically in Turkey.